Hi there, this is David, and happy St. Patrick's Day! Welcome to my first impressions of the demo of Bayonetta Origins, Cereza and the Lost Demon, to be released TODAY for the Nintendo Switch. Full disclosure, I've actually never played a Bayonetta game in my life, but I've heard nothing but good things about the series, so when I saw this one on the Nintendo Direct, it looked pretty good, and it kind of reminded me of Okami, and it also seemed to be kind of a watered-down action RPG, which is right up my alley, so I figured, eh, what the hey, I'll give it a shot and try it out. I've got to say, I love living in this day and age of demos being offered for games, because it really lets you know what you're getting yourself into. It used to be that you had to rely on magazines, word of mouth, or what scant videos the companies might release for you to really see if a game was for you. But boy, is it nice to be able to just take the controller in your hands, sit down, and fool around with the game to really see what it's all about. And while this was billed as an action RPG, I am here to tell you that it's anything but. In fact, it reminds me more of that SNES game, The Lost Vikings, or even Cat Trap for the Game Boy, which I'm sure no one under 35 has ever heard of, but whatever, I age myself all the time. This is actually a puzzle game masquerading as an action game, but let's start at the beginning. The story unfolds in a cozy storybook fashion, very similar to how the story was told in The Cruel King and the Great Hero. And as it so happens, there are two magical clans, the Lumen, Sages of Light, and the Umbra, Witches of Dark. And while those two clans did get along, there were rules in place to keep them explicitly apart. However, rules are meant to be broken, and there's a Romeo and Juliet love story of two youths coming together, falling in love, and having a child. Cereza. Unfortunately for little Cereza, her father was banished to a far-off land and her mother imprisoned as punishment. And Cereza herself became an outcast among the village, and she was sent to be raised on the outskirts of town by a powerful witch, Morgana. Each night, though, Cereza visited her mother in prison, but upon her tenth birthday, she was sent deeper inside, so Cereza vowed to gain enough power to rescue her mother and hopefully along the way, find her father. That's pretty much the backstory in a nutshell, and it covers the first 30 minutes or so of the hour-long demo. You're going to be sitting there, flipping through the pages while doing a couple fetch quests here and there, so it really isn't until the good 35 or so minutes in that you get your 25 minutes of true gameplay. During the storytelling sequence, Cereza has a recurring nightmare where she hears a voice that tells her to go inside of Avalon Forest and find the White Wolf in order to gain the power that she needs to rescue her parents. So, away from the prying eye of her teacher, she spirits herself away into the forest with only her doll, the Cheshire Cat, to comfort her. But then, when she's encroached upon by the evil fairies, she forces herself to summon a demon which possesses her stuffed cat, and while the demon kills off the fairies, he doesn't really share Cereza's mission. He wants to go back to the inferno that he was summoned from. And it's here, about halfway through, where the true gameplay begins. You control Cereza with the left analog stick, and the demon with the right. So you're really controlling both of them at the same time. In the same way that you use the left shoulder button to check and interact with Cereza, as well as the LZ button to cast magical spells with her, which just essentially immobilize enemies. Then you use the right shoulder buttons to allow you to attack with Cheshire. It's intuitive, but it also takes a bit of hand-eye coordination to pull off. Soon enough, you can return Cheshire back to his doll form and carry him around. And this does help, but most of the time they're going to be separated since you'll need both of them to solve all the puzzles. There's thorny briars that Cheshire has to bust through, and he's also the only one who can attack enemies. Cereza, though, is the only one who can pass through Rosemary, and also the only one who can paralyze monsters. Then, over in doll form, you're able to reach out and grab flowers, leaping to further destinations. So controlling both of them at the same time is paramount to getting through each room. Speaking of the magic, though, it's kind of weird. You create a magical circle to enchant, and then you're supposed to, like, dance around to activate the enchantment. But the game didn't really say what to do, so I sat there, just kind of moving my control stick around for a year and a day, until the game had mercy on me 
and was like, Hey, man, you really suck at this. Do you want us to do this automatically for you? And I was like, damn straight I do. Thank God for that, too. Because later on, you have to dance around for what seems like forever to activate the paralysis magic, too. And all this, I think, is where my disconnect ultimately lied. While the voice acting is well done, and I do like the storybook progression, and the graphics are really gorgeous, all that doesn't make a good game to me, because I was under the impression that this was an action game. I mean, that's what it said in the trailer, after all. But it's not. It's a bait and switch. It's really a puzzle game meets a visual novel. And while it wasn't frustrating in the demo, I can totally see how this could ramp up in the difficulty in the full game. Also, just something to keep in mind. I don't know how long the full game is, but the demo took me an hour to get through, and I was at a 10% completion rate at the last save point. So, extrapolating that out, I would say that the entire game would probably take about 10 hours, so do with that information what you will. My final thoughts really are this. I am glad that there's a demo, because I thought that this was going to be an action game, but it's not. It's a puzzle game. And I'm not really in the mood for a slow burn puzzle meets visual novel, especially when I was expecting something more along the lines of Secret of Mana. But that's just me. I'm not saying that it's a bad game or anything. All I'm saying is that it's just really not my jam, so I'll be passing on the full game. So, that's it for my first thoughts and impressions of Bayonetta Origins, Cereza, and the Lost Demon. What do you think about the game? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video and want to do it on the channel, please consider following me over on Twitter, supporting me on Patreon for exclusive videos and early access to my content, heading on over to Twitch for streaming fun, or coming on over to my Discord to chat and hang out. The links to them all can be found in the video description. This has been David. And if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.